Just for this challenge, I will have to read over 10 books. That's a lot. <laughs> If you want to see Emily Fox, today's video is going to be all about one of my reading challenges for 2021, which is all about book series, or I should say finishing book series, because uh, if you've seen my videos, I suck at finishing series. I went ahead and counted for 2021. Okay, do not judge me. This is a judgment-free zone. Um, I look back, and in 2021, I have started, so like read the first one, maybe the second book in 20 different series. You've heard that right, 20. And then you might be wondering, well, it might not be that bad, Emily. How many did you finish this year? One <laughs> or two. I'm not 100% sure if the uh, the Wayfarer series by Becky Chambers is going to be four books or if there's gonna be a fifth one. So probably one or two. <laughs> Why does it sound so much worse said out loud in front of the camera? Um, I have probably done that most years, but I feel like it's a problem that has become worse and worse throughout the years because I look back at my first like two years on booktube, I used to finish series within the same year and I haven't done that in forever. So in 2022, I am hoping to finish 10 series. That's my goal, my bare minimum. Is it realistic to go from one to 10? Do we care? Not really. So uh, yes, this is going to be my challenge. So I'm going to be talking about the 10 series that I'm hoping to finish, but it could be something else if I don't finish these ones. It could be another one that I just start in 2022 because I'm not putting a limit because I don't want to put myself in a reading slump, but uh, yes, I need to finish 10. Okay, so the first one I'm hoping to finish is going to be the Miss Bourne, the second Miss Bourne series by Brendan Sanderson. The fourth book is coming out towards the end of the year in 2022. And I believe Sanderson, if he tells me it's coming out, it's coming out. So I have read the first three books. So it will only be like one more book that I have to read. The only challenge, like I said, is going to be the fact that it comes out in uh, the fall. So when it comes out, I have to read it ASAP so I can actually finish the series. Personally, I feel like I like the first series more because it's more like medieval. And this one is more like, I've been calling it Western because they have guns. And I have enjoyed to see um, what he has done with the magic system with, you know, guns and everything. And I do like the banter and friendship, but overall, I just don't feel as emotionally invested in the story and the characters, but I want to finish it because I want to be able to read the next series. So that would be my first one. The second one is going to be the first Let Trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. I have read the first book this year, so I want to actually actively continue and not, you know, be in the middle of a series for 10 years. So I have read The Blade itself, so next year I'm hoping to read book two and book three. I believe it's an ongoing series and there's more books in the same universe, so I'm not putting that pressure on myself to finish those also in 2022, but you know, long term if I keep enjoying them. I'm looking forward to reading this series because I really enjoyed book one. I really like the character Glockta and I just wanna see where the story is going to go basically. And it would be like reading it all within, you know, a year or two, which would be great for me. Would improve my stats here. Both of these, by the way, are adult fantasy. I feel like everyone knows about them. So a lot of these are not out of my comfort zone because I wanted to actually finish series. You know, I don't want to torture myself. That's not the goal here. Uh, so another adult fantasy series that is ongoing for me is the the Greenbone Saga. So I have read Jade City this year by Fonda Lee. We actually read this on the Patreon book club and most of us really, really enjoyed it. I especially like the characters, basically like uh, Godfather-esque with Kung Fu and magic. That's how it's described. And I really, really like the family. And actually not long ago, book three came out and I attempted to start listening to the audiobook of book two and I got confused because too many names. I am terrible at, with names. So I will be reading the physical copy of Jade War, uh, hopefully early next year and then I will be reading book two. So I have two books to read for this series. So that's already five books that I have to read. Next, I wanted to continue and finish the Millennium series because I don't want to just continue. We need to finish them. I have read book one and book two this year. I'm happy with that. And if we want to read the whole thing ASAP, I have book three left. This is the girl who kicked the hornest nest. This is hard with Invisalign. <laughs> Um, but yes, one more. I can do that. I've been really, really enjoying this series. I like book one more than book two, but I have heard great things about book three, so we can do this. This one is an adult uh, mystery thriller. We're at six books. Let's throw one easy one in there for me. Uh, book two in the Monk and Robot series by Becky Chambers. I have been loving Becky Chambers anything. And the second book, A Prayer for the Crown Shy. I really love everything that she publishes. I will happily read this. This is kind of a very character-driven adult sci-fi-ish, like a uh, different version of her world where you're following a non-binary monk 
uh, inversion of the world where one day robots got up and just left us. They want nothing to do with us. And uh, they're trying to find the meaning of their life. There's tea, there's discussion with robots. It's just, it's really great. I like it. It seems to be a duology. So if it's announced that there's a third book coming out, I will not, you know, consider it that I didn't achieve my challenge if it's the only one that I didn't finish the series. So at least catching up if, but it seems to be a duology. So that one. Speaking of which, uh, let's talk about the other one that so far there's only two books. There are only two books announced, but if a third one is coming out, I will not, you know, uh, discount that series for the challenge and it is the between earth and sky series so i read black sun and i have the second book fevered star on my tbr so i will be reading that one in 2022 and if i achieve that i will consider that done for this series even again if they announce a book a third book this one is also an adult fantasy series i feel like fantasy is one of the genres that has the most series so we'll be reading that in 2022 we are now at eight books. Okay, next we have <laughs> the side series by Neil Schusterman. Okay, this, the third book, The Toll, has been on my pile of shame, basically, books that I have started and never finished for no goddamn reason, um, for way too long. And in 2022, we're ending this, I'm actually going to be finishing this Y sci-fi series. I have been enjoying it, and for some reason, like 100 something pages into it, I just stopped reading put it down and never picked it back up. So we're going to change that in 2022. I will be starting from the beginning and reading the third book so I can actually finish the series. Next we have The Magician Trilogy by Lev Grossman. This is going to be two books for me because I have read The Magicians, but I haven't read The Magician King nor the third book, which I will be attempting to read both of them or just DNF the whole trilogy. I am trying to still work on like putting down books when I'm not enjoying them. And I liked book one, uh, people have been calling it like depressed adult Harry Potter, which kind of, but not really. I enjoyed the beginning, but I felt like towards the end, it just got like way too far for me. Uh, but I'm still hopeful that I can still enjoy the series. So I will be attempting book two. And if I like it enough, I will be also finishing the next one. So if I read both of them, it would give me 10 books. If not, I'll just DNF it. But the NF it is still good for me. Like I would still remove the book, the series from my TBR. So... Well, this is where we adapt because I had been looking up this series and I wanted to include it in here, but turns out book three is not really coming out next year or maybe not anymore. And there's a fourth book coming out eventually. So we're adapting. This is going to be like catching up to series for this point, or maybe I can finish a different series. Um, but I wanted to continue this one. This is The Rage of Dragon by Evan Winter. The series is called The Burning. And I have read book one earlier this year, really, really enjoyed it. And I have book two on my TBR and I thought book three was coming out next year. And that was the last one. But like I said, the fourth one is coming out. So for this one, I just want to catch up, read book two. And if book three comes out next year, I will be reading it. But there is no date announced anymore. I thought there was one. I guess it's on me. And then originally I had given myself one empty spot. I wanted to finish any other series, either something that I started already or anything that I start next year, which would still be good for me because once again, I wanna start getting back into the habit of finishing series the same year I start them because it's too much chaos otherwise, unless, you know, it's ongoing, but still. Uh, let me look at the list. But if I continue one of the ones I already started, a few possible contenders, we have uh, Stormlight Archives. If we're continuing with the whole like catching up to series, I have two books left for that one. Or it could be continuing the Skyward series by Brendan Sanderson. I'm currently reading the second novella between book two and three, and I have book three to still read. It could be continuing the Spin trilogy. I have read book one, which reads really well as a standalone, but there are two other books if I decide to continue. There's also Gentleman Bastard. I've only read the first book. There's also Foundation series. Like I have so many ongoing ones, but yes, basically maybe this one will not count anymore if I decide to this one if i decide to actually finish series that would mean like finishing two other ones so we're gonna see we're adapting things as things go let me know if you have read these series and what are your thoughts spoiler free obviously in the comment section let me know how you are with series do you struggle like me or are you really good and just read them back to back to back which i used to do i need to do that again are there any series that took you years to finish because i want to know <laughs> i will feel a lot better if you do Thumbs up, subscribe. I will link down below a video I have done about reading challenges, letting you know which ones were my favorite to do, which ones I want to do this year because there are quite a few and the ones I'm hoping to do in the future. If you're just looking for more recommendations, you're looking to have one to do next year and I will be putting more videos on screen that I recommend you check out and I will see you in an upcoming video very soon. Bye. Lonely, you're the reason why I can
feel those butterflies 